For what positive value of c does the equation log x equals c x to the 4 have exactly one real solution for x? And we're given um, five possible choices for this value of c. Uh, log x equals c x to the 4. Well, if we think about what the graph of log x looks like and what the graph of some constant times x to the 4 looks like, uh, I believe what we're looking for is a value of c where these two graphs are going to be tangent to each other. Let's just quickly sketch out what these two graphs could look like. So log x, of course, looks something like this. And x to the 4, we're only, I, I, I suppose we're only worried about positive values of x here because of the logarithm. x to the 4 looks something like that. Um, but of course, if I multiply this by uh, a positive constant, um, I could get something that looks like that or something that looks like that. So, you know, we could have, we could have zero solutions. We could have one solution with a tangent, or we could have two solutions. Okay. So, um, how do I want to set this up to look for a tangent? I mean, maybe, I think taking derivatives is probably the way to go, right? The first thing is that um, if I take a derivative of log x, that of course becomes one over x and a derivative of c x to the four is easy and, and you know then we're working only with powers of x not with logarithms okay so we have this is true log of x is equal to c x to the four if i take a derivative then when these things intersect i have that the slopes are equal or the tangents slopes of tangents are equal so I have that. So this gives me 1 is equal to 4c x to the 4. Um, but using this, c x to the 4 is equal to log x. So I have 1 is equal to 4 log x. So this says that log x is equal to 1 over 4. And so x is equal to e to the 1 over 4. Okay, and now I want to substitute that in there. So x to the 4 is equal to e. So 1 is equal to 4 c e. And this gives me c is equal to 1 over 4 e. I hope that's one of the answers. It is. That's option A. Yeah. So this was, um, you know, what, what was involved here? Um, understanding the shapes of the graph of log x and x to the 4 were the keys here. And understanding that, um, you know, different values of c are going to give us 0, 1, or 2 intersections of these graphs. And then knowing, of course, that when there's only one intersection, they're going to be tangent and then sort of passing to derivatives uh, allowed us to solve for things here. Um, yeah, it was nice also recognizing that if I take a derivative of both of these functions, logarithm and x to the 4, then the logarithm has the derivative of 1 over x, meaning we're only dealing with, um, we're only dealing with um, powers of x, not logarithms. By the way, I should clarify, like this statement does not follow from this one. Just because, just because I have two functions that intersect, it doesn't mean their derivatives are equal. But this is because I'm specifically looking for, uh, I'm, I'm specifically looking at the situation where the functions are tangent to each other. So because the functions are tangent to each other, um, at the point of intersection, their derivatives will also be equal. So at the value of x where they intersect, whatever that value, whatever the value of x is, uh, 
that value of x also has to satisfy this equation. So you know, I, I didn't I didn't just take an equation and take a derivative and set those equal to each other as well. Um, that you know that's something that in true is not general. If you uh, it's not it's not true in general. If you have two functions that intersect, their derivatives do not have to be equal at that intersection point. But that for this question is exactly the case we're looking for. Uh, and then it just boiled down to doing a little bit of algebra, and there we go. If I have more to say about this one, I'll write it down in the description. Thanks for watching.